Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The artillery has been god of war for centuries and has proven in the ongoing Russia Ukraine conflict. With the advancement in technologies, the artillery have undergone significant improvements which includes increased lethality, range, precision and shoot and scoot capability. The shoot and scoot capability improves the survivability of artillery against the counter artillery fire. Earlier, the standard baseline time from acquiring the target to shooting was 5 to 10 minutes which has now been reduced to mere a minute or two. This is where the importance of long range multi barrel rocket systems such as Pinaka and self propelled artillery such as Vajra is felt. Also, the Make in India and indigenous defense ecosystem is going to be absolute necessity in case of sustained war. Indian firms such as LNT, Bharat Forge, Tata Advanced Systems Limited, Solar Industries, and state owned Advanced Weapons and Equipment India have made Indian defense ecosystem self sufficient in artillery and rockets. However, there is need of sufficient orders from the Ministry of Defense to keep this defense industrial ecosystem running at a sustainable pace. The Army is now working on equipping all regiments with advanced 155 mm artillery gun systems, inducting missiles and rockets with longer ranges, precision, lethal ammunition, reorganization of surveillance and target equation units, and shortening the sensor to shooter loop for swift detection and destruction of targets. Indian Army is in process to acquire more Hovitzer rockets, missiles regarding which we are going to discuss in detail. To begin with, let's talk about ATACs and mounted gun system. The Indian Army wants to procure 307 ATACs and nearly 300 mounted gun system. On 16th March 2023, the Defense Equation Council has granted the acceptance of necessity for the procurement of ATACs along with high mobility vehicles and gun towing vehicles for Indian Army. The Bharat Forge Limited has reported in its Q1 FY24 earning conference call that the request for a quote that is RFQ for ATAX is out and the orders are expected within 6 months. On 25th January 2024, the DIDO Chairman Dr. Samir V. Kamar told A9 that the orders for 307 ATAX gun are expected by this financial year that is by March 31st 2024. Talking about the mounted gun system of DRDO, it has recently undergone series of trials in Pokhran Field Range in January 2024. The MGS is a derivative of ATAX mounted on a BML armed truck. It works like a robot and loads itself. The Indian Army has a comment of nearly 814 MGS. The gun has excellent shoot and scoot capability. The next important gun for Indian Army is going to be Garuda. It is a 105 mm 37 caliber mobile weapon system with 360 firing capability. It is an ultra light weight under 5.5 ton and the weight of gun is less than a ton. In November 2023, ADA has reported that the tenders for the procurement of 200 Garuda is going to be issued soon by the Indian Army. The Army is also looking to procure a completely new gun which is being called as stored gun system. It will be a 155 mm 52 caliber gun but will be much more lighter, versatile and cater for future technological advancements. Indian Army has quoted requirement of nearly 400 such guns. Talking about K9 Vajra, the self propelled howitzer, it has an excellent shoot and scoot capability with strike range between 28 to 38 kilometers. The RFP for 100 more of these self propelled howitzers were released in November 2022. The contract and price negotiation for 100 more K9 Vajras was expected in March 2023. However, there is no update on this. The procurement process is expected to be in last stage and orders could be placed by the financial year 2023-24. 
army has total 5 regiments of canine bajra and one regiment with winterization kit has been deployed in ladakh apart from bajra army has also deployed m777 and bofor soldier and upgraded dhanush and sharang guns along the borders with china in november 2006 india has ordered 145 m777 soldier from us for 750 million dollars and all of them has been inducted now forming seven regiments of m777 ulh army has also placed orders for 114 dhanush guns indigenously upgraded based on the bofors gun and 300 sharang guns which are upgraded from 130 mm guns to 155 mm this is referred to as upgunning the army has deployed its first regiment of 155 mm 45 caliber dhanush towed guns near china border and has set a target of raising five more regiments over the next 3 years talking to ani captain v mishra from regiment of artillery has told that dhanush has been deployed at lsc since 2002 the gun has ability to target above 4000 meters of sea level with accuracy to a distance of 48 km the earlier reported range of dhanush was 38 km the sarang project involves upgrading the vintage soviet origin 130 mm m46 stored artillery pieces 255 mm 45 caliber standard by the advanced weapons and equipments india limited as per report from the hindustan times the army has inducted a fourth of 300 guns that are being upgraded and rest will come in couple of years these guns have enhanced the range from 27 km to 37 km and have superior terminal effectiveness this was today's update Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.